information. Unbelievable. <laughs> it's pretty. I've made Are it. you responsible for that? <laughs> I, I Did you sit in the production high. meeting for that? I feel so honored. It's that his I intellectual have. property. I gotta believe, right? <laughs> <laughs> but also from DC United joins us now for his weekly Ben's breakdown. First thing you got to break down is. Nice shoes. Yeah. <laughs> My Chucks. Those are interesting. Well, Those are all black Chuck Taylors. I like them. This is a story on Chucks. Now, Nike sponsors me, and okay. they finally bought Chuck Taylors. They bought All Stars, so now I get to wear these, and I can put the swoosh away for a little bit. Now, how, how many colors <laughs> do you have? Enough. Enough. Yeah, yeah, too many. You get the hook up? And I mean, can a brother get some yeah, 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 I one see. One we're on the same. <laughs> we're right there, man. What I was wondering if I could get you. I look this up. I covered, the, I covered the NBA, and I, I said, forget everything else. I mean, the money would be nice and playing on national TV, and obviously the ladies. Right. Just the kids, the right? Boxes, <laughs> and, the shoes, right? Like, and the warm-up yeah. suits? Exactly. You, you know how I was. Yeah, I know. Congratulations yeah. yesterday. Thank you. Big-time road win. Yeah. And we were talking before. You were a little upset about how the team has played on the road, and he kind of put it all together yesterday. Yeah, uh, it, it just because of the potential we have, uh, you know, we, we need to do that more. Mm -hmm. uh, it's it's uh, inexcusable to go through these huge peaks and valleys. You know, every now and then we can have bad games and, and uh, be a little down on our luck, but uh, you know, it showed us what we can do, and we need to do that a little bit more often. The ebbs and flows of the season, those things happen. When I tell you two goals in the last seven road games, it's pretty inexcusable. Yeah, absolutely. And to me, it's all about mentality, uh, going away, having that, that, that killer instinct going away, and <clears throat> making your luck. And Josh Gross right there that does it himself. It's just uh, being together and, and working hard. Hey, Ben, it's obviously inescapable. You guys got the Galaxy coming up, mm -hmm. and perhaps perhaps David Beckham, we don't know yet. Um, what is the feeling in, in the locker room there? Is, just, is it just another game for you? I mean, we mentioned off camera that you're going to get, you know, 45,000 fans. That doesn't sound like your average game, right? Yeah, it, it's, it's, it's not. It's yeah. not. <laughs> we can sit here and say it is, but it, it's a big game. It's a big game for us because we're on a roll now. You know, we, we got to win. We want to keep pushing forward. LA Galaxy, the last couple of years, have come in and, Kind of handed it to us a little bit, so we owe them something. Uh, and there's a, there's a guy named David Beckham going to be on the on the bench probably to start. Who knows? Uh, and there's going to be 45,000 people, uh, fans of, you know, I, I hope DC United, you know, coming there to not only see David Beckham but coming there to support the home team as well. Yeah, if you, I mean, I, I've always wondered what you guys think when a player like that comes into the league. I mean, I know in other leagues we've seen where maybe, you know, Greg Oden gets drafted and, and everyone, there's buzz about it. It's, this is unique because this guy has been established around for a long time. However, you played against great players your whole career. Is it exciting for you when you might play a guy like that? Or do you just look at it as just another game and you played against other great players? So what's the difference? Well, you know, you're excited every time you play against great players. You know, it's always an honor to step on the field with these players that uh, have done it at, at every level. And, uh, it's, you know, it's I, I know, especially for some of these young guys on this uh, on our team, uh, it's going to be a, a, a real nice event for them. And, uh, you know, it, it'll be even nicer if we, we come out with a win. Now. Is this... I'm a basketball fan, so I'm going to use this comparison. Is this like watching Jordan play for the Wizards? I mean, does he still have the David Beckham mystique about him as a player? I think he more has an aura about him as a person mm -hmm. than he does as a player, to be honest with you. You know, he's, he's a good player. He's a very good player. He's a great passer, as good as they come on situations like corner kicks and free kicks. Uh, but because of, of the mega star they've created him into, uh, there's that aura about him. Uh, but, you know, again, once, once the game gets rolling, you know, I'm not going to be worried about you know, his hair color. <laughs> you trying to get yourself a hat? Hey, you trying to get three goals. I'm, yeah, you know what I'm saying? That'd be nice. I saw it once. Hey, yeah. Didn't you have one this year? Yeah. Oh, yeah that's what they keep telling me. I, I watch a good it, story like, behind go. that, actually, Ivan. You don't know about that story. You want to tell him? Yeah, what's up? Yeah, Where's story? Jill? We should get Jill in here to tell us. She tells a better story. More than Mary. No, we were there. First time I ever watched an oh, yeah. MLS game. And, and he got you, know, you three goals. And Benny came out there and gave me some tips on how to play the game. And three goals <laughs> later, yeah. first career hat trick. You know, I haven't gotten any residual from that yet. But you also haven't come back and also haven't <laughs> scored any goals. So you know what? We've got to talk to management about that. Maybe Gene and I will roll out. That's right. That's right. That's right. Yeah, that's right. We've got to put you guys out in the stands. Yeah, yeah that's right. Hang out with the faithful. Yeah, Let's talk about yesterday's game yesterday. 3 nothing. I want to go through that first goal that Josh scored. Now, 
Adam Littlefield, who's our, one of our producers, was a former goalie, so I had to ask him about the play. Break it down for us. It, it looked like the goaltender had it in his hands, but Josh had the presence of mind to kick it in still. Well, you know, the rule is if he has his hands on the ball, you can't kick it. Uh, but here he... He's a little bit nonchalant with this. He lets that go a little bit down to his feet. You know, a lot of goalies do that to, you know, say, I got it. Right. Everything's cool. But look at that. There, I mean, the I, I didn't to see do any that. hands on that ball. Did you give him five with his cast, too? No. He's had that cast on for two years. <laughs> he's milking it? Yeah, I don't know. Are you he needs to drink some milk. <laughs> so, wait, have you ever done that and you ever kicked a uh, goalie? You know, he, that ball is free. Yeah. If the, the yeah. goalie has the ball um, not in his hands and it's sitting oh, wow. on the ground, it, it's yeah. it's a free free ball. Um, it's a dangerous position, goalie. And <laughs> if you don't have your hands on it, uh, a guy like Josh, especially uh, who's a Central Pennsylvania boy, yeah. you know, born and bred, <laughs> uh, he's a dirty boy, so he's going to get a piece of that. 